What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 30 in the Math 3 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that a police chief took a random sample of the speeds of 100 drivers on the road. He got 48.5 for the mean, 2.5 for the standard deviation, and he wants to decrease the margin of error. And we're supposed to see which choice would decrease, mathematically speaking, the margin of error. So this question tests your knowledge of margin of error. All right, so it does give us the formula for margin of error, two times standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. And so if we think about any fraction, like if say I wanted to take two divided by x, let me write that over here. If I want to take two divided by x and I wanted to decrease this, the easiest way to do that would be to make x go up, to increase x because the bigger the denominator, the smaller the actual number value of this fraction. And so if I look at my margin of error formula, I look at the square root of n, and if I want the square root of n to go up, the square root of n goes up as n goes up, n is the sample size, so it looks like my best bet to decrease the margin of error is to increase the sample size, based on the fact that n, my sample size, shows up with a square root on top of it in the denominator of this expression which represents margin of error. So we increase the denominator to decrease the margin of error, and we increase the denominator by increasing the sample size.